and welcome to another review of Chip and Joanna Gaines's Fixer Upper Welcome Home Episode 3. That was a mouthful. I've already reviewed Episode 1 and 2 of their new season of Fixer Upper. When Fixer Upper first aired on HGTV, I was a huge fan of Chip and Joanna. I love their family. I love that dynamic. And Joanna's designs are really cool and different from from what was going on at the time. However, it got a bit repetitive towards the end. With this new season, what I've really been looking for is some evolution in her design. And so far, I haven't been disappointed. Episode 1, that house was absolutely beautiful. One of my favorites. Episode 2, it was more of an average house. It was as spectacular as House 1, but it was definitely kept in that same vein of a very updated, very modern looking house. So I'm hoping this third house is just a bit of a different style. Let's dive in. Let's see what Joanna has in store for us. The first episode was for a newly married couple. The second episode was for a single guy. This third episode is for a single girl with her first home. This house... <laughs> light blue and white on red brick. No, don't do that. So they painted the house white. <sighs> Not a surprise. They generally do that. I. It's interesting though that they've kept this light gray. Like it's kind of a blue gray color, but it's a light gray. which is reminiscent of the blue that was there that was bad. But this slate gray. I, I do like it with the white. I think it goes really well and I like this natural wood shutter. There's not much going on. They probably didn't have that much for landscaping um, and exterior and obviously they spent a lot on windows and paint and stuff. I mean it definitely looks good and those trees are so nice. They're just beautiful. Um, this is interesting. So yeah, so they used that slate gray throughout the house, but they put this archway, which is cool, this brick floors down, which is interesting. It, this, it's very light. It's kind of organic, bohemian. Overall, the living room looks nice. I just think it looks a bit hard with the brick floor. This is the third white couch out of three episodes. So we're seeing a trend here. However, she has some artwork behind the couch, which is out of Joanna's typical range. And I know they've put in these plants, but they're kind of, they just don't really go. Oh, that's really cute. So they took her pictures from Instagram and they got an artist to recreate them. And that's, that's like a really special way of keeping, you know, something really personal and and make and elevating it into art and incorporating that into your home. I like that chandelier. It's cool. I think the chairs are a bit dated with this curve. I don't like that. No, don't like the rug. But I like the chandelier. I like the table. I like what's on the table. I wish we had different chairs, a different rug. That rug's a bit too flimsy. It's not my favorite. Um. Okay, it's a fun tile and I like the blue island. I mean, <laughs> they've been doing a lot of these blue green islands with the white counters and the painted bottoms. And I mean, it doesn't have a display shelf and this one's oval, but also these stools are okay, but they don't have backs on them. And the cabinets just look they look a bit dated already. I don't know. I'm not a fan. I just, just this terracotta floor is just throwing me off of everything. If it had been wood, I would have been way more on board, but it also just looks kind of like a grandma's kitchen. This whole house, I mean, I'm glad the client's really enjoying it, but it's just like, but it just, it just feels like it's the seventies still. It doesn't look like it was done modernly. It was like a very modern person did this in the 70s. But yeah, no. I just... I'm not a fan. 
I'm sorry, but this is, and they have antique doors there, but no. Okay, I love a good mud room. They're so practical. So it's nice to see them incorporate that and have this little laundry space. The laundry space doesn't look super practical. At least it's a place for laundry. This is a cute room. I, see, wood floors. <laughs> wood floors, and I'm on board, okay. I love that they put this plant here. Will it survive? No. Um, but it looks really cute there. And I love the, the arch. I think she went to Europe and so she's really inspired by Europe. And, and I think they've got some wallpaper on the ceiling. That looks cute. It's just a very light and airy and feminine room. I really love that. I love this kind of wicker headboard feel and just just all the natural woods and it's just warm and airy and girly and cute. They definitely used a lot of texture in this house which I haven't seen in any of the previous ones and, it, and I think that's really the boho kind of style coming through so it's nice to see that they integrated that. Oh my gosh it's tiny! <laughs> she still gets her walk-in shower. I do not like that tile. I do not endorse that tile. No. What is happening there? <laughs> what is that? Why? No. I, I don't mind the red on the bottom, but the wall tile, no. It's also too cluttered. Like, I wish she had just... I don't like that dark wood. I wish it was a lighter wood. I wish there was less stuff on that vanity. Um, and it's just, it's just too much. It needs to be really simple because it's such a small room. I hated those floors. <laughs> oh, why? Why did you do those floors? I mean, I'm glad they liked it. Maybe you liked it. I just didn't like it. Did you guys like it? Let me know. Please comment if you liked these floors because I didn't honestly and I didn't like it with that trim color and then all these tassels and all the textures and then it's on this hard terracotta floor it just no 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 I mean maybe having it in the entrance way or the mud room the mud room is fine but to have it throughout the whole home it just looks really odd that kind of threw the whole house for me. My favorite room was the bedroom. I hated the bathroom, but the bedroom was lovely. And I think that room was totally on point. And it was fun to see Joe. Like there were a lot of similarities again with the first and second home, but this one was very different because it had the bohemian aspect. I just hated that flooring. I couldn't get over it. And this style is not exactly my taste. I get it. She's doing it for this client who really loved it. But uh, I didn't like it. No. So this is definitely my bottom house. Um, my least favorite. So if you want to go see my favorite house so far, go check out my review of episode one, which is linked here in guys thanks for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this review this recap of the property i hope you enjoyed this video bye